Happy Solemnity of Pentecost, Sisters and Brothers in Christ. May today's celebration remind us of Christ's indwelling presence in us through the Holy Spirit. This is Sister Lucci of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Luke is the only evangelist to write a sequel to the Gospel. This is known as the Acts of the Apostles, and here, Luke recounts the Pentecost as a separate event that occurs after Jesus' ascension into heaven. In the Gospel of John, proclaimed also in today's Mass, Jesus imparts the Holy Spirit to the disciples on the evening of the same day that He rose from the dead. There is no need to harmonize these two biblical accounts because what matters most is the essential truth that the two evangelists convey unanimously. They tell us that the Holy Spirit is the gift that marks the victory of Christ's resurrection. This invisible and transforming power that transcends space and time is the Spirit of Christ and His new way of being among us, no longer in flesh until the end of the age. As the indwelling Divine Presence, it is through the Spirit that Christ and the Father will make their home in us, as Jesus has promised His disciples. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, through Your Holy Spirit, transform the face of the earth and make us new creatures. Amen. <music> 